Hey booktube, it's Michelle with Michelle's Life. Welcome back. Today I just wanted to do a quick uh, bookshelf tour. We'll see how quick it is. But um, let's just get right on into it. Uh, right on into it. There you go. So here's just an overview of my bookshelf. I just moved this one in from the nursery. It's not super organized. And I have new books coming, but I kind of wanted to do this. So here we go. On my top shelf, I have my knickknacks that I just don't know what to do with. Uh, my mom collected antique uh, Avon bottles, so I have um, a piano perfume bottle, an owl powder can canister thing, and uh, a bird, bird cage perfume bottle. They're all from, I think, like the 70s. And then I have my Harry Potter collection and an hourglass. My first row is kind of my favorites. Um, so we have Across the Universe. A Million Suns, sorry for the glare, um, Shades of Earth, all by Beth Revis. We have the beautiful Cat Winters in the Shadow of Blackbirds, uh, The Book Thief by Marcus Suzak, um, The House of the Spirits by Isabel Allende, can't go back in, The Secret Names of Women by Lynn Barrett. Charles Chaplin, My Autobiography, Perks of Being a Wallflower by Stephen Shabosky, I'm not sure, Ray Bradbury's Fahrenheit 451, the Scott Pilgrim graphic novel box set, I do not feel like pulling all those out because they're in there really tight and it's difficult to get them back in, and then Throne of Glass by Sarah J Maas. Uh, this shelf contains my graphic novel collection, my Yellow Fest collection, and then random hardcovers. We have Rat Queens Volume 1, Sass and Sorcery by Curtis J. Weeb and Rock Upchurches? I don't know. The second volume, which is The Far Reaching Tentacles of Nargoth. Saga Volume 1 by Brian Kavon and Fiona Staples. Volume 2. Volume 3. Can I zoom out? No. Volume 4. Volume 5. And then Morning Glories, uh, Volume 1. Then we have our Yolfest books, or my Yolfest books. Uh, I have Afterworlds by Scott Westerfeld, Lois Lane's Fallout by Gwenda Bond, We Were Liars by E. Lockhart, Fairest. By Marissa Meyer, Everything Everything by Nicola Yoon, Libba Bray's The Diviners, Shadow and Bone um, by Lee Bardugo, Book One in the Grisha Trilogy, Will Grayson Will Grayson by John Green and David Levithan, Every Day by David Levithan, Veronica Roth's Divergent, and David Levithan's Marley's Ghost, which is illustrated by Brian Selznick, who also did uh, The Invention of Yugo Cabaret. Then I have To All the Boys I Loved Before by Jenny Han. I currently have uh, part, uh, The Hunger Games and Catching Fire lent out to my friend, but this is Mockingjay by Suzanne Collins. I have The Glass Arrow by Kristen Simmons. That's a beautiful cover, but I actually heard it's a terrible book. Anyway. Um, I have Since You've Been Gone by Morgan Matson, Jody Picoult and Samantha Van Leer's Between the Lions, uh, Coldest Girl, Cold, I have a hard time with this one, Coldest Girl in Cold Town by Holly Black, The Bane Chronicles by Cassandra Clare and Sarah Reese Brennan and Maureen Johnson, and then The Bone Season I Don't Feel Like Taking Out by S Samantha Shannon. And then I have a nonfiction wild, called uh, Wild Ink. It's about writing YA fiction. This is the next shelf, and it's kind of just a random assortment of books. First, we have a graphic novel of Alice in Wonderland, Fahrenheit 451 by Ray Bradbury, and Marvel's Pride and Prejudice. Um, well, I mean, it's, you know, Jane Austen's, but Marvel redid it. Candy Freak by Steve Almond. A Brave New World by Aldous Huxley, 
The Orphan Train by Christina Baker Klein. Can you see that? I don't know if the glare is too bad in this room. Um, Shiver by Maggie Stiefvater. Monstrous Beauty by Elizabeth Fama. She Siege and Storm by Lee Bardugo. It's the second book in the Grisha trilogy. Oops. And then Lux by Jennifer L. Armentrout. It includes Onyx and Obsidian. And then we have uh, The Uninvited by Kat Winters. Oh, I didn't even show you that one, I'm sorry. I Am the Messenger by Marcus Suzak. Tiny Pretty Things by Sona. I'm not sure how to pronounce those names, but it's my first and only arc. I won it in a giveaway from Epic Reads. I haven't read I haven't read it yet. Thirteen Reasons Why by Jay Asher. The Help by Catherine Stockett. Me and Earl and the Dying Girl by Jesse Andrews. Morgan Madsen's Amy and Rogers Epic Detour. Uh, a Little Something Different by Sandy Hall. And The Fault in Our Stars by John Green. Then we have James Dashner's The Oops Maze Runner. Extremely Loud and Incredibly Close by Jonathan Safran Foer. Running with Scissors by Augustin Burroughs and his second book, Dry, which is basically a sequel to Running with Scissors. We have Reboot by Amy Tintero. And Ender's Game by Orson Scott Card. Uh, Rebel Angels by Loba Bray. Lisa was a Price's Starters. We have a uh, Collected Poems by Maya Angelou and The Canterbury Tales. And then this shelf is kind of just a collection of books from college slash extras. <laughs> I have Shakespeare's The Taming of the Shrew, um, Ray Bradbury, Something Wicked This Way Comes, The Jungle Book by Rudyard Kipling, Letters My Mother Never Read by Jerry Diane Suick. Death Me Not Proud by John Gunther. I have the Wundala series. Um, I haven't read it, but my friend Jody gave it to me. Uh, doesn't have the dust jacket. Doesn't have the dust jacket, so I'm not going to take it out. Um, Ian McEwan's Atonement. I Tichaba. Sorry, Black Witch of Salem by Maurice Condi. Martin Amos's Times Arrow, Maria Edgeworth's Belinda, Oop. Uh, Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte, The Bell Jar by Sylvia Plath, uh, a hard edition of The Great Gatsby that I found at an antique store by F. Scott Fitzgerald, What Dreams May Come by Richard Matheson, uh, Northanger Abbey by Jane Austen, Revolutionary Road by Richard Yates, and then the uh, Infernal, what is it called? I don't know, but the uh, Dante's Inferno, there we go. Um, Paradiso, the Inferno, and the Purgatorio. And I have this bookcase out in the living room, but it's slowly being taken over by my daughter. Um, so basically I just have this shelf that's mine now. So I have The Great and Terrible Beauty by Libba Bray, which is the first in that series. Angel Fall by Susan E. Lexicon by Max Barry. Barry? I don't know. The Thirteenth Pale? Pale? The thir Thirteenth Tale by Diane Setterfield. Uh, Where Things Come Back by John Corey Whaley. Uh, I have War Letters, this is my husband's War Letters, by Andrew Carroll, and Wicked by Gregory Maguire, as well as the Enchanted Inky Quest color. Yep, so that's my bookshelf tour. Um, I will include at the end of this video my ebooks that I've taken screenshots of if you want to check out my ebook library. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, always give it a thumbs up, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.